Hey guys, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, if you're new here. Earlier this week, I shared with you some secondhand finds that we recently brought into our home from the thrift store and also from Facebook Marketplace. So today I wanna to share with you how I'm going to style this beautiful piece of antique furniture and also how I have it organized to fit everything that we need to store inside of it. Before we had a taller dresser in the same spot so we did scale back just a little bit so that actually made for you know I had to do a little bit of creative thinking with how am I going to style it and how are we going to fit everything that we need for my husband and I in this bedroom. So when it came to styling it one thing that I really did want in this little nook was some sort of light Lighting. So when we first bought the dresser, I put a little lamp on it that I was borrowing from a different room and I decided what I really wanted was two lamps that would flank each side. So where did I go? None other than Facebook Marketplace, which is my like favorite resource right now to find really beautiful one of a kind items for really great prices. So for the past couple weeks, I spent about five minutes a day. I would type in lamps every day and see what came up so when these two popped up i knew they were going to be the winners they only cost me ten dollars for the pair and they are these gorgeous black and brass lamps now black shaded lamps is something that i have just loved for years and years they are all over my pinterest boards and it's just such a classic look to me i love you know there's like that saying that every room needs a little bit of black it really just pulls a room together and gives it a little bit of, I don't know, like something masculine. I've seen it a lot with some designers that I love, like Ralph Lauren Home has, you know, I see that black lampshade element. And also John Darian is one of my favorites. So again, I found this set and I brought them home, put them on the dresser and I'll show you. They are tall and I wasn't quite sure how I felt about the height of them. They seemed maybe a little bit disproportionate, like a little bit too big. So I kind of sat with them for, you know, about a week. And then I realized what I really needed in between them was a mirror or some sort of piece of artwork or something that would make sense of the scale of the lamps. So that's when I remembered that I had actually picked up this mirror also from Facebook Marketplace about two months ago. And my plan was to use it in the basement bathroom when we renovate it, um, you know, when we're done renovating it. And I've had it kind of sitting here in our bedroom just to keep it protected from being in the basement. I didn't want it to like crack or anything. And I said, you know what, let me try this on this wall. And I tried it and I fell in love with it. And I said, oh no, I'm gonna have to get something else for the basement because I loved how this looked on that wall. All right, so after I had the lamps and the mirror in place and I was really loving it, it was time to fill in the bottom, sort of the, you know, underneath the mirror and the top of my dresser, which is where I like to display family photos, photos of me and my husband, um, little things that the girls make for me. That's kind of what I've always had on my dresser. So now it's just gonna fill in that space there and you know, give that personal touch to our bedroom and like those special memories, just things that we really enjoy looking at every day. All right, so now that all those kind of special things are there, I left an open spot here in the front because one thing I absolutely love in my bedroom as often as I can is to have fresh flowers. And right now it's, you know, we're in the end of spring. Fresh flowers are just plentiful in our own backyard, which is such a blessing, something that we can enjoy, you know, every day when we wake up and when we head to bed. So I'm gonna go throw that together. So this is what I came up with, literally just two different things that I found in our own yard. I don't know what these white flowers are, but they're absolutely gorgeous. They're like kind of a little bit of a bell shape to them. And then I mixed in that with some just wild honeysuckle that we have that actually smells amazing. And it grows these really just like wild 
branches that I love. I love how they just kind of like do their own thing. I just love working with, you know, the plant's natural tendency. Like I could trim it all off and make it look neat, but I just, I love it. I love seeing all the little wild vines and things that come out. And I just put it in a drinking glass, very simple. And it's just something that, you know, really pulls the whole space together. So speaking of organization, the top drawer is all socks and undergarments, and I'm not gonna open it, but they are all just organized in four different bins for my husband and myself. And then in this middle drawer, these are all of my husband's t-shirts. Normally I don't really do this style of folding, this sort of like Kanmari type folding, and the reason I did it was because it just simply wouldn't fit any other way. The drawers are much um, more shallow, so I did, out of necessity, need to fold them this way, but it really is so simple, and you're really able to see everything you have, and it wasn't like layered on top. But you can see here with his tank tops, I did just fold them the typical way because he didn't have as many. And again, this is a seasonal item, so when summer is over and we're getting into fall and winter, I can pull those out and put long-sleeved shirts in here because everything else is short sleeves. The third drawer down is my husband's shirts for work and I do fold them flat because he doesn't have as many and they fit just fine this way. And then he just has a few sport jerseys which are really just for when he goes and watches a game or something like that. And you can see in the middle there's still tons of space in here. Like I could fit his winter sweaters in here but it just was easier to put them in his closet and give everything else a little bit of breathing room. And then the very bottom drawer are jeans or khakis and his shorts for the summer. And I just kind of rolled them so that he could again see everything that he has all at a glance. And that's pretty much it for the organization. And then he has his things in his closet and mine are in my closet, which I have shared before. So I'll link to that if you would like to see it. how I styled our vintage dresser be sure to give this video a thumbs up it really helps me to know what you guys are enjoying and it helps others find my channel if you are new here and would like to stick around and see more home decor and organizing and lifestyle be sure to subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon take care guys bye